All right, so here's what we have here. We're gonna take this piece of clay and we're gonna turn it into a ball, a sphere. In order to do that, it has some points on it. So hit the points so that they're out. You wanna bang down those points and then you squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it, roll it around, roll it around, squish it, 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 roll it around, roll it around, roll it around, roll it around. All right, so now you have a, a sphere pretty much, right? A uh, sphere it is a ball like this. And then we do the thing where we say, this is my sphere. My sphere is beautiful, that kind of thing. And then take my thumb, stick the thumb in there, just like that. See, it's gotta go deep enough, okay? Now I'll go around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And I make what we call a pinch bot. See, that's that's gonna be the part of your dinosaur that um, that is the back. Right now, you can make any kind of dinosaur you want, um, but I suggest that whatever you do cannot be something very long. Say, if I wanted to make a long neck dinosaur, if you make it a little long, it's gonna crack off. Right? If you're gonna do a long neck, it better be kind of short because it'll break right off. Now, if you're gonna attach something and put it like that, it will break off, all right? It'll break off. So, you wanna keep it small, all right? Maybe this doesn't even need to be a long neck dinosaur. It could be something even smaller like this, all right? There you go. Like this, you gotta score it. That means to just beat it up a little bit with the pencil. You get a little bit of this, this is a slip. I haven't quite made it yet. It's more water than slip, but it, what it, what it, it, clay and water make 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 for a kind of clay glue. All right, I'm gonna put this on here, and now just by gluing it isn't enough. You need to mash it down so you do not see that line anymore, or else it will break off. It will break off, and you do not want to have pieces of your dinosaur falling off. So there you go. You got that. Let's make a tail real quick. Like this, score, 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 score. Put this on, like this, all right? There you go. And then you mash it down, now the tail is attached to it. Now, here's one of two ways you could do this. You can attach little legs on each one of them. You could do that if you want to, just like this. So you could go like this, attach it. Or you could just pull them out, which I might do, pull them out. Yeah, you, you notice I'm bushing it this way and that way and this way and that way. Or you could just attach the legs to it. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I tend to do things like this. Yeah, I kind of got a long neck dinosaur. Not too long though, all right? Now say I wanted this to be, say, a stegosaurus or something like this. Well, now I can add some, some pieces to the back. Push them down so they don't come off. One. Two. pretty soupy right now, so maybe I won't put any more of that clay glue on it because it's everywhere. Right. Three. And make it a little changes. Now you want. Stegosaurus just have kind of see? See all the places. Maybe I'll fix it on the bottom a little bit. To lift. What you don't want to do is capture a bunch of air in here. If you do, then you use a hole in there, it will explode in the kiln. And you won't get to see the explosion. It won't be cool. It'll just be like a bunch of broken parts when I open it up. All right. Thank you.